hey 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 and welcome to brooklyn's barbie bay i am back with another doll unboxing now yes i'm a little late okay i like when i'm shopping i'm, I'm trying to grab like the dolls or order the dolls online and sometimes they get here sometimes they don't and i have so much stuff to unbox sometimes i forget and these two girls as i was going through some things i was like wait a minute I never did an unboxing for them. I am so excited because I have been waiting on this Barbie number 17 extra doll and also the extra fancy doll that I haven't had a chance to like even examine. So for my subscribers, let's do this together. Let's unbox these girls one by one and have a talk about them and see what we got. I'm loving Barbie for giving us some little articulation. So let's see if I'm going to fall in love with these dolls as well. We'll start with our number 17 since she is the one that I have been really wanting to get out of the box okay so here we have our barbie extra this is the number 17 on um from the art the barbie extra collection i believe um on the side as you can see it just shows her puppy on the back of the box it shows the girls so far now i have this one i have her i do not have these two and i definitely do want the one with the purple hair because i like her outfit um, I have never been like a huge fan of the Barbie extra clothing that they're wearing, but I absolutely did kind of like this collector's line, like whoever was styling the girls on here, I, mm, I'm feeling okay about it a little bit. You know, I'm not a fan of the pets and everything, but hey, it, she comes with a lot of accessories. It looks like some shoes. I see the purse, but why look at the box when we can take it out? And talk about it so let's get our girl out of the box I'm quite sure she doesn't come with a stand but I have one so we'll take it out and, and talk about it okay so now that we've gotten um, our doll out of the box I am pleasantly surprised she's very very cute and we'll get into her a little late in a second not a little later but a second just wanted to show you first what comes in the box she's got this cute little doggy okay cute little doggy here and it looks like this is the dog's collar that goes around the doggy's neck. So you have a really cute pink, um, um, little diamondish kind of like um, collar for the dog. It also comes with a little cake purse. See that? It also comes with a little coffee cup or mug or something for her to drink out of. Um, and then a pair of glasses, which I, these are like my favorites, I think so far. These are really cool glasses. Look at that. Really cute. And the wording um, around it says so extra. So extra. Very, very cute accessories that come with the doll. And then as I put on my trusty, trusty glasses so I can make sure I can see what I'm doing. Let's go ahead and get into her. So this is the number 17. Uh-oh, doggy. I don't want him to fall. Look, I'm always like moving something and then messing it up. So number 17, she's a pretty girl and she comes with a faux fur jacket that matches her pants. The pants have a pink um, stripe down the side. She's got on these really pretty pink heels. And I kind of like they're still kind of attached to her foot. So I'm going to leave them just like that. And then she's got like a little cute pink crop top. It's not, well, like, you know, like a little crop tank underneath her jacket. She has a lot, a lot of, um, and it's still secured. I kind of like to keep them still secured on here and not take everything off unless I'm getting ready to like do an outfit change or something for her. And since I'm not, I'm just going to keep her how she is um, with her jacket. I love this faux jacket, by the way. Um, she's got a lot of jewelry on. You can see her necklaces, get her closer to you. And she's got her big hoop earrings on, her silver big hoops. Very pretty. She's got a pretty face mold as well. And then she has this little headband that still is um, attached to her head. I love her long braids. Her two pigtail braids are gorgeous. And you all, these braids are floor length, right? So I can imagine when I take her hair loose, how beautiful this is going to look. Because you know I can't just keep her hair in two braids. She's too sophisticated for that but um, I really like this doll um, I have a couple of other 
extra uh, fashion um, extra um, dolls, Barbie extra dolls, and uh, some of them have been like, okay, I like it, and then some of them, you know, not so much. So I think I like this outfit because it is really cohesive and it's together. So like I was saying on the back of the box, it's the other dolls that let me put her back on the stand so I can kind of show you again. I felt like whoever designed this line um, really made the outfits cohesive. Like you can tell it's a bit much for the doll, Like it still gives you that extra, but it kind of goes with it. Whereas some things I was kind of like, that's just too much. Um, so when I'm looking at all of their outfits were, were cohesive and together, like all of these on one, I think when I ripped it off the box, it, it's not mixing, but all of these dolls, the whole entire, you know, um, line for this collection really, really was on point. So I'm extremely happy. I really do like her. Um, I love the fact that her, look at her eyebrows, you guys arch so pretty. Her face is gorgeous. And again, I am in love with this, this crop, um, coat. She has the points of articulation. So I forgot to show you that, So she can move at the, um, well, semi at the elk, she moves out at the elbow. I mean, at the, at the, um, why am I blanking here? I'm um, not the elbow, but at her shoulder, she does arm does move in and out at the elbow, not at the wrist. There is no articulation there. Oh, yes, it is. I'm sorry. There's articulation at the wrist, as you can see, then there's articulation at the knee, not at the ankle. Um, torso does move head back and forth, up and down. So, you know, she can, she's, you know, I call this semi articulation because if it's not like a made to move body, it's not a hundred percent articulation. Like I call that a hundred percent articulation, but she's good. You know, I, I think Barbie extra, they're giving us some articulation, so I'm not going to cry about it. I'm tired of having to rebody doll heads from, um, fashionista line and putting it on a made to move body because Barbie just will not give me articulation for every doll, but okay. That's okay. We have these, and so we are going to continue to talk about them and love them. So, if I put her little glasses on, this is how she's going to look. Isn't, it, isn't she adorable with the glasses, you guys? And then, you know, she's getting ready to hang out with probably friends. We'll give her her little purse. We'll put her coffee. You know, you've got to have your purse and your coffee in your hand. So, let me see how I can get this on. Okay. So, she's got a little coffee. She's got a purse. She's got her dog and she's getting ready to head out. So, I mean, the doll doesn't disappoint. I absolutely love her and I am definitely going to keep her. She's a keeper. So now let's look at our second Barbie that I have not unboxed. And that is our beautiful um, Barbie extra fancy doll. Let's get into it. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, now we are back to our Barbie extra fancy doll and I am ready to unbox her. This looks, this looks interesting. She looks super cute. I can't wait to see. I love the socks in the, in the blue shoes. So I'm excited to see this. It's kind of like reminds me of Kawhi. Kawhi, I think it's called that. I, I just am getting that vibe and I'm loving it. Um, it looks like there were three dolls that came in this set. I've only gotten her but I do want the other two. So let's see, let's go ahead and get her out the box. Let me say this, you know, it's perforated right here, right? So I thought honestly that once you like put, put the hole in here to get the doll out or like to, you know, open up the perforated part, it does absolutely nothing. You all, as soon as you try to open this part of it, all it is is the back and it does not help you to get anything out. And I'm just going to show, I don't want to break my nails either, but see, now what? You still got to go around the edges and get it out. I mean, come on, Mattel, help us out. Okay, let's get her out the box. Okay, so I finally got her out of the box and she's absolutely gorgeous. I'm just getting some of her accessories out. Um, I absolutely love dolls. And let me just tell you a little background. I've always collected dolls. I'm new to doing like a channel, but um, I have a, a daughter who is um, disabled. And so she cannot walk and talk and so she doesn't get to have like that normal 
um, playtime and things like that with toys. And I thought that a part of this was therapeutic for me to do with her because I get a chance to play with her with her dolls. And these dolls that I do unbox, you know, I put them in her room or I play with her with them, I let her hold them. And so um, I believe that play is so important even to children um, adults that have any type of disabilities, developmental disabilities. And so um, Brooklyn's Barbie Bay is because my daughter's name is Brooklyn. So, you know, every doll that I unbox, anytime I'm talking and doing dolls, this gives her joy and it gives me joy too. And I'm so glad I get to share this part of our life with you guys um, who subscribe to my channel. So thank you so much for loving Brooklyn's Barbie Bay, for subscribing and for sharing or commenting. I do this for my Brooklyn. Um, and I love to share this with you all. So my unboxings I do with her and I also get a chance to do them with you because she loves dolls. She might can't play how we play, but man, play is so important. It's, it's, it's therapeutic. And if you're an adult, whether you're over 50, under 50, grab you some toys, play, do some hair, change some clothes. I mean, this is what keeps us all sane, believe it or not. Okay. Now back to um, our beautiful doll that we have here. I am absolutely loving her. She is gorgeous and I love her outfit and like what I'm really in love with is her bear. Um, I'm so used to Monster High and Rainbow High having doll names. You guys, I'm sitting here on the box like, where's her name at though? Where's her name? Forgetting that Barbie does not name these dolls. They're just what they are or a number. But she is so absolutely gorgeous so first and foremost what she comes with on our little stool is this really cute bear isn't he gorgeous look at the bear guys and she was like holding him in her arm when in the box so really really cute she comes with this little popsicle popsicle i don't know how she's gonna hold that but somebody already bit it she comes with a really cute bear purse i'm in love with the purse okay that is super cute then it looks like this is like an armband that goes on her arm, like a piece of arm jewelry. And then she's got these cat eye silver glasses. Really, really cute. I love this. Okay, so I'm, I'm here for this. Now let's look at her. I'm going to take her off the doll stand that I have. Her hair is just as long as the doll that we just looked at with the um, pigtails and purple, except hers is out. And it is all the way down to her feet as well. You can see that. Okay. She comes with this really avant-garde like cape. And the cape, as you can see, her hands are inside like these silver mittens. Like from the box, I didn't even realize she, her dress had on, like had these attached gloves. I said mittens, but they're gloves. And I want to say, yes. So the cape, the arms, the gloves go through the cape as you can see so it's not all attached okay so but i think this is so royally gorgeous to me the fact that she has on these cape and i think i've never seen barbie you have to it might have been like a long time ago but i'm not remembering a barbie that had like came with gloves like this maybe like one of the collector's edition but like a toy line doll i've never seen them with gloves um let me know in the comments guys if you have seen that so also in the packaging she's holding okay another small purse she's holding a little heart purse she also has on her glove and i was going to say is that a mickey mouse watch because tell me it doesn't look like a mickey mouse watch guys but i'm going to say it's probably a bear since her theme is bear but it does when i first saw it i was like oh she's got a mickey mouse watch on i'm just still loving this whole entire cape get up i don't know why they open her sooner i love this then she's got this really cute i'm just gonna kind of open her arms out a little bit so we can kind of see. She's got this really cute like balloon type bear dress, right? So really cute, it's puffy, fun. Um, it has the green, emerald green. Um, I wanna say this is like the tie over it. Let me look in the back. So it's a part of the dress as you can see, nice and shimmery. So it kind of gives you a whole lot of fabric, a whole lot of different aesthetic going on with this particular doll, but it all comes together and looks very cohesive. Let's look up close at her face and her jewelry. So this doll is absolutely gorgeous to me. Her face is beautiful. I love the Bantu knots on the top of her head 
And I love the fact that she's got them. Um, they're not molded, but they're painted baby hair or edges. Her makeup is very subtle, very beautiful, like light lavender, light pinkish. She's got um, her choker on and it almost looks like it's a crown to me all the way around. Isn't that gorgeous? Beautiful, beautiful, big silver clunky earrings that she has on. Very nicely done. I absolutely do love this doll. She's articulated the same as the other doll, as you can see in the knees. Now, I don't know if you can see here. There's, I don't know why some of the Barbie dolls, can you guys see that? Like there's a different, it's really shiny here and it's like a matte here. I don't know why it's like that, but it is like this on this doll, this particular doll as well. Very, very pretty. I love the way her hair is kind of like crinkled. Um, it is, it seems like, and that might be because some of it's in the Bantu knots, I think. It, see, it feels like it's in a different length. If you can see, it's kind of shorter there and then it goes longer. But I think that's because the hair is in a Bantu knot. So I'm sure that when you take it down, or if you choose to take it down out of the Bantu knots, I don't know why you would do that because those are absolutely gorgeous. But if you were restyling her, I understand. Um, you definitely would have the same length. Now, why am I putting her back on the stand? We didn't even do the shoes. And this is the best part for me. I love these baby doll like ruffled reminds me of like old school when you put your socks on with your heels um old 80s attire really cute um I love that so definitely giving this doll a 10 I am glad that I got her I'm going to be on the lookout for the other ones because I do like the other ones as well let me put her on this doll stand hold on people she's all out of the focus didn't even get a chance to put her on her stand just yet sorry okay so I like this doll I think she's absolutely cute I really think both dolls I'm bringing this one back um, are super cute let me know what you think what your thought and your thoughts are in the comments I'm going to continue to collect this line I'm, I'm really liking this both of these dolls did not disappoint I'm loving I'm still in love with this coat but I'm also in love with this cape. I mean, it's, it's everything. And I'm wondering like what other doll I can style that with. Hmm. Well, thank you guys for tuning in once again and watching my channel. If you have some time, please feel free to like, to hit the subscribe button and also to leave a comment, positive vibes only you guys. I'm, I'm not new, new to this, but I'm true to this. How about that? Have a wonderful day. Bye.